people can go see this movie and realize that they're like these people, that maybe you're hard on yourself, maybe you think you're a bad person, but you find a little bit of goodness in yourself through watching this movie. I mean, that's the greatest thing you can really hope for. Yo, this is Sean coming at you with the Guardians of the Galaxy review. When a movie is particularly hot and it's in our whole superhero wheelhouse, you know I gotta cover it for you, especially when it's as hot as this. I'm telling you, in a nutshell, you gotta go see it. Here's what I'm gonna get into and what I want you to tell me in the comments. What I liked, what I think they could have done better, and what I'm looking forward to in the next one. What I liked, no question, number one, it's Rocket and Groot. Now, I'm sure it doesn't take a lot for anybody to tell you that that's obviously going to be the draw, but you have no idea. Watching Rocket and Groot in this movie, it's what I imagine it felt like seeing C-3PO and R2-D2 on the big screen for the first time way back in the day when that first Star Wars movie came out. And it's interesting how in the 70s, seeing C-3PO and R2-D2 as these robots when the culture was swinging in this whole kind of back to nature hippie movement, that was like just totally out of nowhere. The same way that now we live in a really technologically Star Wars, Star Trek come to life kind of world. So it would make sense that you'd get the same feeling from it being a small animal in a tree. In fact, I am super excited to see Rocket and Groot turn into like the little kids' most favorite characters. Not just right away because the movie's hot, but over the next several years as they're merchandised and used in other things. I'm calling it now, Cartoon Show. The Rocket and Groot Cartoon Show for the kids. It's, it's happening. You know what it felt like? It felt like when I was a kid and I skipped school to go see The Fifth Element on opening weekend. And... That also, the similarity ends in that they're both like sci-fi action comedies. But what they got in common is the fact that it was this super exhilarating, over-the-top, way-out fun story that's getting into these really deep issues about people and the nature of power and what motivates us. You know what I'm saying? So there's so much in it that's real and raw. And that's important to like know and to consider, but it's then at the same time like so just wildly entertaining. Now the only thing I can mention as far as stuff I thought they could have done better was there's a couple of leaps in logic that I think that you know made me go, well, how did that? Uh? But here's the thing. The spirit of the movie is so spot on. Like it's got so much heart to it that I'm just like, whatever, I'm with you. I'm with you all the way. The one that sticks out at me in here, I'm going to put the spoiler alert graphic up, right? So if you haven't seen the movie yet, you're going to have to come back and we're going to have to have this discussion after you have. But if you haven't seen it yet, just like scroll through the timeline down here. Scrub through until you don't see this graphic anymore. So while the spoiler alert graphic is here, that's like where I'm talking some stuff about the movie. The, I don't know, maybe you don't want to know. It's not like heavy or nothing, but here we go. The part where Groot um, is like making the fireflies come out. It even goes before that, right? Like, I'm watching really early in the movie, Groot gets his limb cut off. And then he's, it's this whole, like, thing about, like, oh, he's not good in the arms, and we see them slowly growing back. But then later in the movie, we see him making his limbs grow, like, at will. Now, I realized later on that that was nothing to quibble about, because what that was, was we just watched him learn about something he can do. Okay, but what's the deal with them like firefly things when he puts his arm out and the little light firefly things come out? There was no explanation for what that even was, let alone why and how he's able to do it. If you got any idea about that, please get a message to me. Let me know in the comments because uh, that's the, just the one thing about this movie that's leaving me scratching my head. Okay, let's get rid of this spoiler alert graphic and get back into it. So what am I looking forward to from the next one? Because <laughs> this ain't no spoiler, it just says on the screen, the Guardians of the Galaxy will return. I'm excited to see this group of friends back together. Super excited to see Thanos come back. Super excited to see how what's going on in this corner of the Marvel Universe, way the hell off in space where the Guardians of the Galaxy are kicking it, how that comes all the way around and ties into what's going on in like, you know, with the Avengers two movies from now or whatever. My friend Rogue, check out her channel. She said that this for her was hands down the best Marvel movie. It's a little, it's too different. I don't really feel like you can compare them because they're all so good and they're all so different. But it's definitely like, it's one that I'm looking forward to like getting the Blu-ray and watching again and again. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out this review. And don't forget to go see Guardians of the Galaxy and let me know in the comments what you like the best, 
what you think they could have done better, and what you're looking forward to from the next installment. We'll get back to the shoutouts and all that kind of stuff in the next real video. And until then, subscribe so you don't miss a damn thing, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.